I want to talk about the 17 signs that make it clear that you should start a side hustle as soon as possible. Let me ask you, is there something not quite right at work? Are you feeling left out of conversations and projects that you used to be a part of? Look, if you are living paycheck to paycheck and an unexpected loss of employment could spell disaster for you and your family, then this video is for you. We will start with the obvious signs that you should think of starting a side hustle and then increasingly get to the not so obvious signs. But I promise that by the end of this video, you will be more prepared to pay your bills and just live life just by knowing what to look out for and to protect yourself. I've been fired from jobs not once but twice in my life and the signs aren't always clear that something's coming. So let's get into it. All right, so the first three are going to be the insanely obvious signs that you should probably start looking for a side hustle. And the first one is your health is suffering because of work. Now, always remember, nothing is more important than your health. So if because of your job, you are on medications or your sleep cycle is all messed up or you're on anxiety pills, look, it could be the greatest job ever, but it means absolutely nothing if it puts you in the hospital. It's a clear sign that you probably should be looking for another way to make money. Number two is that coworkers are quitting all around you. Look, if you're at work and you notice that someone who's been there for years is gone and then someone who's just got there, maybe they're gone as well, you might have to actually ask yourself, is there something that you're missing? That's why it's pretty important to try to have a rapport with the people that you work with and get their personal contact information where if they were to ever leave the job, you can ask them straight up, hey, is there anything going on that I just don't know about? And their reason for leaving is just something personal. The number three really obvious sign is burnout. How do you feel about your job? And it is possible to have a job that you absolutely adore door, but it just takes a lot out of you, even to the point to where, unfortunately, you don't even care anymore. So what happens is you start to produce less and it becomes more and more noticeable to those around you. There is a term in the industry called quiet quitting, where you basically just mentally check out completely of your job and just going through the motions. At this point, there is a couple of things you can do. Number one is just to take a break, take a sabbatical if you can, or just take an FMLA leave for mental health reasons. Take that time and recharge. Try to figure out if what you are doing is something you want to continue doing for quite some time. And if not, you might have to consider finding another way to make some money with a side hustle. Now, granted, understand that work is work. It's not always meant to be enjoyable, but you want to be able to look at this realistically. So now that we have covered the glaringly obvious reasons why you should start a side hustle, the next few I'm going to categorize in the kind of obvious realm, meaning that if you're not paying attention, you just might miss it. And the first one is that your boss turns into a micromanager or becomes becomes extremely nitpicky. I was working on a website for an employer and I was asked to type an opening paragraph for the page. Now this isn't exactly what I had to write, but in the paragraph I had to write something to the effect of the car repair damages for your car was anywhere from 100 to $200. Now in that last sentence, did you see what I did wrong there? No worries, neither did I. But apparently there is a big difference between a hyphen and a dash. And in this particular situation, I should have used a dash rather than a hyphen. As you know, because it makes a really big difference on that page. So because of that little small thing, I ended up having to have an entire meeting on it, which was really struck me as kind of weird and a little nitpicky. But regardless, that was an obvious sign that something needed to change. The next reason is that normal work that you would normally get is being assigned to someone else. Typically, if you have a decent boss and you start to get a certain type of work, they might give you that work over and over again because they know that you can produce and that you're good at it. But when it stops, or worse, someone else is assigned that work and you're completely left out of it, like not even training them or anything. It's not always the case that something strange could be going on, but it should raise a flag. Now, this doesn't mean that they're always avoiding you. You might actually have a lot of stuff and your boss doesn't want to overwhelm you. But if it's pretty obvious that something that you normally do and all of a sudden you're not normally doing it anymore, it does cause some concern. The next reason that you might need to start a side hustle is that your manager might just be bad or completely overcritical for things they used to compliment you on. There's an age old saying that it's always the case. And it's the fact that people don't quit jobs. They quit managers, especially if those managers feel threatened by whatever talent you might have. Now, don't get me wrong. It is possible to be overqualified for a job. But as long as you're doing the work, then it shouldn't really raise any flags. But an overcritical boss will make it suffocating to work for them. And you just have to go through the motions or start looking for another way to make some money. Be careful of this one because it can even make you question your own sanity. But usually it's their problem and not yours 
yours, but you're the one that's going to have to do something about it. The next reason is not getting a raise or a promotion or just being completely passed up for a promotion. Now I get it. It's not always everyone's dream to want to climb that corporate ladder, but there are times where the work that you're doing deserves compensation. It, it deserves recognition. But if you're not getting it and you feel stuck or you feel blocked and there's like no upward mobility, meaning like the next position that you would get, you know, that person isn't going anywhere anytime soon. That's a problem. And you might need to start looking for another way to make some money, which leads us to our next reason, which is being overworked and underappreciated. Managers usually have an idea with how much work a person can get done in an eight hour period, a week or even a month. So if you are swamped with stuff and it's keeping you busy from literally the time that you clock in to the time that you clock out, especially if this is, you know, very hard work or mentally intense type work and you're not getting anything for it, you're going to feel underappreciated. Now, understand it doesn't always have to be straight up compensation. It could just be a simple thank you. But then it probably goes the other way around as well, where if they're trying to give you more and more work and you turn it down, you might even be seen as not being a team player. Now, granted, it is a job and there are times where you will just need to bite your tongue, but just don't let them railroad you, which seamlessly leads us into our next one, which is being underpaid. Now, being underpaid is it's a touchy one because you're not really supposed to be talking about your salary with your coworker. In fact, there are times where you might actually think that you're being underpaid and you're really not. Now, before you jump into the bandwagon that you are being underpaid, be sure to go to websites like Glassdoor or Indeed, put in your job position as well as the area in which you live, just to be absolutely sure that you are being undercompensated. And if you are being underpaid, then boom, you definitely need to start a side hustle. So as we go through the rest of these kind of obvious signs that you should start a side hustle, I saved the last too specifically to be those sneaky underhanded not so obvious signs that you should start something so be sure to stay tuned for those so the next reason you should start a side hustle is a toxic workplace here's the thing you should feel welcomed at work you should feel protected that you can perform your job without a hostile environment but if you cannot perform your duties without feeling threatened or uncomfortable, then you probably need to find something else to do. Just be sure to try your best to be as realistic as possible when it comes to trying to determine that. The next one is that your PTO or your pay time off is denied. Now, just to be clear, I'm not saying that you should go and start a side hustle if your PTO is ever denied. But if you or your manager knows that you need to be somewhere at a certain time where you really need to do something or really want to do something and your PTO is denied for no good reason, that might be a sign. And this is especially true if you've done some pre-work where you've made sure that the days that you're not going to be there, there's going to be coverage to make sure that your job duties are still taken care of. If through all of that, they still deny your PTO, then you might want to start finding another way to earn some money with a side hustle. Now, the next one is a big one, and that's being put on a PIP or a performance improvement plan. Usually companies put employees on PIPs when their performance or their output is not necessarily what the company is expecting. It's basically just a formal report that says, hey, these are the things you need to work on. Now, this isn't always a bad thing. In fact, in a lot of situations, the manager probably hopes that you actually listen to what's going on in that PIP and actually start making some improvements with your work. But if those things are unreasonable or make completely no sense, or you're already performing as good as you possibly can, maybe making the company more money, making the company more efficient, and you're still being placed on one of these plans, it might be worth looking for another way to earn some money. Next up is mandatory overtime. Now, mandatory overtime is just that. It's mandatory. There's not really a way around it in a lot of cases. But if it seems that the mandatory overtime is intentionally put at times where it's very, very inconvenient for you and your life. And this is done so, you know, seemingly in a purposeful nature where, you know, maybe childcare is involved or maybe you just can't live your life, then that would be a clear sign that you might need to start a side hustle. The next one is having a strong dread of Monday or a case of the Mondays. Now I get it. Work is work. It's not going to always be 100% enjoyable. In fact, one thing my father used to always tell me was he never had a bad day at work because he never went to work with the intention of having a good time. But what's going to happen if you have a bad case on the Mondays is you're not going to be feeling very engaged in the work that you need to be doing once Monday comes. So if Sunday night comes and you're feeling a strong dread and anxiety for what's coming the next week just because of your job, then it might be time to go looking for something else to do. Look into yourself and figure out why are you feeling that way and then try to fix it from there. The next one is that you are being forced back into the office. Now, the cool part about a lot of jobs nowadays is that you can perform all of your job duties from the company 
comfort of your own home. But sometimes there is an uncomfortable push from your employers to get you to come back into the office, even to the point to where they might even threaten your job for not complying. So if you can't do it or you simply just don't want to do it, that might be a sign right there that you should start a side hustle. Now, we've covered the very glaringly obvious signs that you should start a side hustle and the kind of obvious signs that you should start a side hustle. But now it's time for the last two. These are the really sneaky ones that you need to watch out for because if you're not paying attention, they will creep up on you and then boom, you are met with a random meeting from HR that results in your weekly paycheck coming to a screeching halt. All right, you ready for it? Here we go. The company is in moral or financial trouble. So ask yourself an honest question. Does your company have a good perception? When you Google your company, what kind of stuff comes up? Another thing to look out for is if you work for a big company and maybe they're publicly traded, how is their stock doing? What about the C-level executives like the CEO and the COO? What are they doing? Did, did it get leaked that they may be interviewing for another job somewhere else? Or maybe they're selling off a lot of shares of their company. It's just like rats deserting a ship. They're trying to get out before the whole thing comes crashing down. But you, you're going to use that as a sign that maybe you should start a side also somewhere else as soon as possible. The next one is being not just excluded from meetings, but being excluded from conversations. I've been in meetings before where the people leading the meeting or the managers were like talking around me, meaning that they were assigning tasks, they were giving jobs to do this and to do that, yet everyone was getting something except me. I remember one time in a call that a manager literally asked everybody on the call how their weekend was except me. Now that is something very small and you might miss it if you're not paying attention, but it can't be ignored. You will be ahead of 99% of people if you just pay attention to what's going on around you and probably starting a side hustle sooner rather than later. But all of this means nothing if you don't know what side hustle to start. So check out this video right here where I lay out nine of the best side hustles that you can start that doesn't get in the way of your nine to five. I believe in you and it's about time that you believe in yourself. Take care.